All right, second grade. So if you're looking at this right now, it looks a lot like yesterday's, only I changed the stories, okay? So if you look, we still have those annotating tools on the side. That's where I want you to prove that you found your answers, right? Remember that from yesterday, okay? So we're gonna go over this story first, and then we're gonna see if we can answer the questions together, okay? All right, this one's called Kick It to Kari's. Let me put this in present mode for you so you can see it better with me. Okay, <clears throat> Kick It to Kari. Kari is an eight-year-old girl who loves to play soccer. Soccer was her favorite sport. Kari did not love her new soccer team. The problem with her new team was that she was the only girl. The boys did not think she was good at soccer. They said this is because she was a girl. Kari's coach knew how good she was. So he told the boys that they needed to kick the ball to her, Kari during their soccer game at the park. Ben followed directions and kicked the ball to Kari. Kari kicked it right into the net. Girl power, right? Boom. Okay, so now, oops, what in the world? Miss Wolf's all over the place, you guys. All right, let's look at the questions we have today, okay? So it says, who is the story mostly about? And check this out. Hang on a second here. When we look back to prove our answers, remember from yesterday, that's what I told you to do, right? Look at the title. Kick it to who? Kari, right? So boom, there's your answer. And then also look at the very first word in our reading. It's a name of a person. Do you see that? Boom, Kari. So obviously the answer to number one has to be Kari, okay? So let's go to that slide and plug that in. Story is mostly about Kari. And look at my sentence, boys and girls. Do you see that? It says, the story is mostly about Kari, period. I wrote a complete sentence. You should write a complete sentence. Capital at the beginning, period at the end, okay? And I took most of my words, almost all of them, from either the question or my reading, right? I can spell Kari because the title's right here too. And the story mostly about, story mostly about, that's in the question. So I wrote, the story is mostly about Kari. Easy, right there. It's all right here for us, okay? All right, so now let's look back. Okay. Oh wait, I don't even know what the next question is about. What am I doing? Number two, where does the story take place? Okay, so we got Kari. That's the main character, okay? So usually it's in the beginning, but this I think is tricky. We're gonna have to read this whole thing one more time to see where it takes place because it, it doesn't tell us right away. Because look at the first sentence, it says, Kari is an eight-year-old girl who loves to play soccer. Did that tell us where the story takes place? No, all we know is she likes to play soccer. It's crazy. Okay, so let's keep reading. Soccer was her favorite sport. Nope, didn't hear it yet. Didn't hear where it took place, right? Kari did not love her new soccer team. Okay, well, more opinion, right? Doesn't tell us where the story takes place. The problem with her new team was that she was the only girl Nope. The boys did not think she was good at soccer. Not yet. Didn't get it yet. They said this. They said this because she was a girl. Rude. They should know by now that boys and girls can do things, you know? My goodness. Kari's coach knew how good she was. That's why she's on the team. The coach knew. Does any of this tell us where the story takes place yet? Correct answer? No. So he told the boys that they needed to kick the ball to Kari during their soccer game at the park. Okay. I just heard a place. I heard it. During their soccer game at the park. Oh, that took us a while to get there. So guess what? That is where we find the answer to number two. All the way down there. 
during their soccer game at the park. I highlighted it. I proved that that's where the answer is, okay? All right, so now let's go to the next slide. Now we know where the story takes place, right? The story takes place at the park for a soccer game. Look at number two. Look at that beautiful sentence. You need to write a complete sentence. And guess what? I'm doing this with you. If you're watching the video, you already have the first story done because you're gonna be following along with Miss Wolf. You should be able to write it exactly how I did, right? Man, you guys haven't made with me, man. I'm just giving you all the answers. All right. Oh, I did this again. I don't even know what I'm looking for right now. How does Ben follow directions? You might remember from reading it because we read it twice. But I need to go back and prove my answer. So you might already know it, you can write it down, but you should use those annotating tools to prove it to me that you found the answer, okay? So we're looking for how did Ben follow directions? Okay, I know it's gotta be answer, it's gotta be after where we found the answer to number two. So that's easy. We only have a couple sentences left, okay? Okay, here we go. Here we go. During their soccer game at the park. Now look at that. There's the name. I see the name. Do you see it? Ben followed directions and kicked the ball to Kari. Gosh, this thing is in my way. Oh no. Well, that's for the last one here. Can we go back? Can we reverse it? Boom. <laughs> okay. So look at right here. It says Ben followed directions and kicked the ball to Kari. Nailed it. That's the stuff right there. So I'm going to go to the next slide. Now I'm going to answer that question. Boom. Boom. Now, how did Ben follow directions? He followed directions by kicking the ball to Kari. He listens to the coach and kicks the ball to Kari. Complete sentence. Wrote it for you. Haha. -ha. Now, this one, we're going to add a little bit more than we did yesterday because it doesn't, it doesn't say what happens at the end of the story. It says what happens in the story. So basically, we want to just kind of summarize it with the few main details, okay? So I'm going to show you the other slide, and I'm going to show you how I did that, okay? All right. I don't know why it keeps making me do this every time. I have not learned how to keep it locked in after I click it, but sorry. All right, so now I'm gonna look at all the space where I don't have an answer yet, okay? I can reread it. Basically, the story is Kari likes, she loves soccer, it's her favorite, right? She's the only girl on her team. So I, I underlined that because I thought that was an important part because the boys, thought she wasn't good because she was a girl and the boys didn't think she was good at soccer. Only because she was a girl, that's rude. Straight up rude. They said this because she was a girl. Kari's coach knew how good she was. I think that's important. The coach knew that she was actually really good when the rest of the team didn't think so. And at the end, she kicks it right into the net. So those are the pieces of the story that I'm going to write down. I'm going to say, you know what? She was the only girl on her team. The boys didn't think she was good. The coach knew she was good. They kicked it to Kari and she made a goal in the end. All right. So now we have the answer to all four. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, this is what I wrote. Look at that. I wrote not one complete sentence. I wrote two. Oh my goodness, what are we going to do? Two complete sentences. That's a lot of work, isn't it? Woo. The boys on her team thinks she is not good at soccer. Kari's coach told his team that they need to kick the ball to Kari, and she makes a goal. That's how I summed it up, okay? So now, that's what I want you to do. I want you to do that, but then look here. We have kick it to Kari. We also have Ben's baseball game, okay? And that's cool because Ben was in the other story before, you know, kicking it to Kari. He's the one that kicked the goal to her. And then, you know, it's also interesting. My brother's name is Ben. Ben is in two of my stories. 
I should text him and tell him that, shouldn't I? There's some wild stuff going on right now. All right, so if you have any questions, you can always comment and type to me. I got my, I gave you my phone number in those letters I sent you, okay? So, good luck, hope you get it. How do I close out? Okay, for real this time, have fun.